This is the model of a DAC VT102 terminal that I made. It contains an ESP32 which emulates a PDP11. Let me turn it on. So what you see right now is the bootloader from 2.11 BSD. I'll tell it to start booting from the hard disk. And I can do that using this little Bluetooth uh, credit card sized keyboard. Um, the ESP32 actually has a Bluetooth controller, so I can easily hook up things like that to it. So booting will take a while. Let me show you around for a sec. Um, so uh, this model is printed on my resin 3D printer, uh, so it gets pretty nice detail. Uh, this is the power switch. Here we have the micro USB connector that is used for flashing and debugging the ESP32 as well as for charging the internal lithium ion battery. And here is the micro SD card that contains the hard disk image that the uh, PDP11 operating system boots off. So back to the front, uh, what you can see here is a 1.8 inch uh, LCD. It has a resolution of 240 by uh, 320. Um, and the emulated terminal actually is 80 by 24 characters in size. This means that each character only has 4 by 10 pixels to work with. Um, we just arrived in single user mode, so let me continue booting to multi-user mode. And I'll zoom in on the screen a little bit so you can see what's going on. So as you can see, even if each character is only 4 by 10 pixels, it's still decently readable. And um, you do need some good eyes to read it in real life, because yeah, as you can see, compared to my thumb, this screen is tiny. So um, 2.11 BSD is continuing to start up. This will unfortunately take a while. Um, this has two reasons. First of all, SimH is not that fast, especially not on an ESP32. Well, an ESP32 is pretty fast from a microcontroller point of view. It has two cores that both run at 240 megahertz. Uh, it still is an no Raspberry uh, Pi 4 or, you know, PC. Um, still, on the other side of the coin, um, the original PDP-11s also weren't that fast, so this might actually be a pretty good approximation of what you would get back in the day. So the other reason why it's a bit slow is that 2.11 BSD is one of the later operating systems made for the PDP-11, and it's actually a fully functional Unix, including a TCP IP stack, which actually was usable. Um, there's also a whole bunch of uh, demons included, uh, which do all kinds of things. But unfortunately, that means startup will take a while. The good thing is, however, that uh, because the TCP IP stack still is current, as in it supports IPv4, you can actually connect it to a network and let it talk to the internet. And because the ESP32 also supports uh, Wi-Fi, I've actually used that in order to uh, hook the PDP-11 up to my Wi-Fi. So we've just arrived at the login prompt. I'll log us in. And I've written a little program in order to do the actual connection to a Wi-Fi network. And this will tell the ESP32 to actually make a connection. And if everything went well... We should now have an IP.
And we should be able to access the internet. So that's all really nice, but Unix and BSD um, were mainly used as server operating systems. And this thing actually does have a bunch of daemons it's running. So the nice thing about that is that if I think that this little keyboard and little screen is too small, what I can do is move over to my laptop. And sorry, I should have used screen cap software. You'll have to make do with this. And I can just tell that into the little machine. I'll log us in as a normal user this time. And now we can do all the fancy things we would normally do if we were an important, uh, you know, microcomputer user, namely, oh, I don't know, play a game of Zork, for instance. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching.